Now I will show you how you can change the text color according to the state of our button next. And again it is possible by using selected driver. So let's create one. I am going to right click on the drivable folder. Then new drivable resource file. Let's call it button text color. Now we will do exactly as we have seen in our previous examples. How to add different states and change the background. Okay. So angle bracket, item, android state pressed, true. Then space, android, colon, color, at color, color state pressed. Then close this item tag. And I think I have already used this color. So let me just change it for now. So at android color black. Now I'm going to duplicate this line for two times. And change this state pressed to state enabled. Now change the last item's state value false just to make it disable state. We also have to use different color for different state. So I'm going to change this color to white. And for disable state I will use a gray color. And that's it. Now we have to refer this drivable in the text color attribute. Let's move on to the activity main.xml. And this is where we have to refer our drivable. So at drivable, drivable text color. And this is how we should use selected drivable for changing the text color of any widget. Anyway, now let's just run this app. As you can see, when our next button is in the pressed state, I think you have noticed the text color has changed to black from white. So guys, I hope now you know how to use the selected drawable for changing the background or text color in different state. If you still have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. And if you think that you have learned something new today, then please hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe for more contents. That's all for now guys, see you soon in my next upcoming video. Thanks for listening.